Well, let's go to New Brunswick now and uh, speak with Premier Higgs. Uh, Premier Higgs, thanks for taking time to speak with me. It's good to see you again. Nice to, nice to hear from you as well, Peter. Thank Why you. did you decide to cancel the commitment to have New Brunswick host the Francophonie Games in 2021? Well, I didn't cancel our commitment. I said that we would only go to $10 million, and, and that was the commitment that was made prior to us forming government. I honoured that commitment, e even though I, I wasn't aware of it at all when I got into government. And I certainly wasn't aware of that it had ballooned to $130 million. And, and but I anticipate the previous government was, because it was well known for many months. So uh, I did honour that commitment, but what I was not prepared to do, and certainly from uh, the discussions I've had, you know, the, we, we weren't able to, to um, go beyond that and to, uh, to spend the kind of money that's being discussed in, the, in the putting the games on. When, when did you find out it was $130 million? Oh, well, early on, probably within the first um, week or so of, of being in government. Because I, I had a, um, I, I was aware um, that it was that it got high. I think it started coming out in the, while we were in kind of transition mode, and I had a, a meeting with Dominic LeBlanc the day I was sworn in. I discussed uh, these games with him because we we uh, we discussed a number of issues, and and I mentioned to um, Prime Minister when I when he called me but congratulated me. I talked to him about them as well, mm. and and indicated that you know we would meet the 10 million commitment, but but that was it. Okay, and what was the response? Well, basically, well, you know, we have a cost-sharing formula for this sort of thing, and, and that's what we have to uh, adhere to. And I said, well, I don't know how we could ever have put forward a proposal uh, of $17 million or $21 million uh, and basically have, have it balloon to 130. I said, how could we ever be in that position? So I don't know whether there was a low-ball effort put in to try to secure the games without understanding what that meant to the province. But, you know, at the end of the day, when you look at the impact of the province, and, and I didn't want to do this. It wasn't something I took lightly um, because I, I appreciate it could be a significant cultural event. And, um, and, but I, around the province, the message was, you know, we can't just spend this kind of money. And so I, uh, I, I had to make a decision because otherwise it was just going on and on and people were wondering. And it's not fair to the committee. It's not fair to the organizers. So, uh, so that's well, what we did. As I understand, the organizers came to you with a plan to cut the cost of the games now from 130 to to 62 million dollars. <laughs> uh, that that doesn't sound any better to you, does it? No, no, because you kind of wonder how did we get there, right? How did we get to 130? It went to 80, and then went 62. So I said, look, our limit is 10 because if 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 you put the games on and we we haven't been better uh, able to demonstrate what the costs are. You, you're, you know you're on the hook for whatever the number could be once you start. So it's, it's like you have to make a decision without, uh, without further kind of uh, putting the province in a, in a position of, of uh, not being able to control the expenses at all. Right. So, it, sorry, if, if, matching, if matching funds uh, isn't, um, isn't contribution enough from, from the federal government for a big project like this, uh, what role do you think the federal government should be playing when a small province uh, with limited funds uh, tries to put on this kind of event? Oh, I think the federal government's got to take ownership for these events. I mean, um, we can't do this as small provinces, and, and, uh, and they've got to recognize that. So it's important. We, we recognize the, the value. We recognize, the, the, the as I said, you know, we're a bilingual province and, and the only one in the country, but, but we cannot afford this sort of thing on our own. So uh, I think they've got to recognize that. And, and you know, there, there was always, you know, I've talked about 50-cent dollars a lot, we just can't be keep being, um, you know, so many times we get bought off by a 50-cent dollar and, and the meanwhile we just keep going in the wrong direction financially. The Prime Minister called your decision a shame for Francophone communities and, and the athletes and the countries of the world that were sending athletes to New Brunswick. Uh, Dominic LeBlanc, you, you mentioned Mr. LeBlanc, the federal minister from New Brunswick, says he believes you plan to scuttle the games all along. Is that the case? Oh, uh, not at all. Not the case at all. But I'm sure he wants to make this a language issue. I mean, I, I would expect nothing, nothing more from him, uh, because that's he'll try to deflect it. He'll try to deflect the fact that that he will spend any bit of money, any bit of taxpayer money at all. And it doesn't matter on anything to to buy buy support or to to influence people. And and what he's finding uh, to be difficult, uh, Peter, is that uh, is that I can't be bought. And, and so it's, it's, that's the debate we're having, is that we have a problem in our province, and it, it, it extends across the province. And I'm, I'm uh, working to resolve that for every New Brunswicker, and we'll make decisions based on the facts. And okay. Are, are you concerned this will be seen as a slight against New Brunswick's francophone community? Well, it's unfortunate if it is. I think it, it, what it says is let's go back to the, the organization on, on the games. Let's go back to how this starts. And, 
and how are the bids accepted? How are they evaluated? What, what do we have there that, that would allow this to be in this state at this point in time? And, and I kind of wonder what was anticipated, you know, had we not been in government, was the sky the limit for, for, uh, for being the host here and financing? It, it's kind of, uh, how did this get here? I think the federal government has got a huge role to play to, to not only assess this situation, how do we get here? How do we avoid it in the future? And how do we make sure the games are being affordable uh, for provinces? Oh, okay, Qu very quickly. Any way to save these games in New Brunswick? If the federal government puts them on and wants to pay for them, um, you know, our $10 million will be there. Uh, but otherwise, um, that, that's it. Otherwise, it, it won't happen. All right. Uh, New Brunswick Premier Blaine Higgs, thanks for your time. As always, sir, uh, good to talk to you. You're very welcome, Peter. Have a good day.